as in Grapes of Wrath. And incidentally, a video cassette of highlights from that concert will be available in the middle of next month. Well, I promised you at the beginning of the programme that Jeff Beck would speak, but before he does, I would like to apologise. What I said about you last week, Jeff, I don't know if you were watching the programme, in which I sort of gave the impression that you hardly ever play, but in fact you have done quite a big tour of all. Pardon? Was that a comment or just your friend? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I say that you that, that I was apologising for the fact you've hardly ever played. In this country? Mm. Well, that's... But uh, now, according to this poster behind us, you are about <coughs> to. This basically to let everybody know that I'm not dead. Yeah. Well, why were you or why did we all think you were? In, in what, a dead? Professionally, yeah. No, no. But, I mean, you hadn't played for, I think, was it seven years before you did uh, quite a big American tour end of last year? In this country, this seven years since yes, I played England. Yeah. So what, what sort of prompted? Is it? Uh, do you get letters from people every week saying, "Please, no, Jeff"? No, no, none at all. No letters. Not all. one no. from anybody. So it must have come from you then. Well, I just you know, my, my market's basically in America, mm. in Japan, and uh, I suppose you you sort of feed the habit over there more. You know, yeah, uh, but obviously you do feel a, a desire to play here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. Well, I love playing, mm. but it's it, it's been impossible to make ends meet, you know, regarding sort of money in this country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really is so, down to that. Plus, I've been uh, a lot of American players, and they don't like touring here too much. At least the, the ones I've played with. Like Carmine and Timmy, when I had BBA together, they didn't like touring England. Is that what... They couldn't stand, a, you know, the touring life over here. Is that what broke that band up, really? Partly that, partly you just can't put three lunatics together and expect them to stay <laughs> together for too long. What are, you, what are you doing now as regards lunatics or rather other oh, musicians? Well, it's controlled lunacy what we're doing now, mm. which is sort of like um, uh, contradictory a bit because, uh, you know. Well, you've got people like Mo Foster playing. He seems mm. a very reliable sort of chap. I mean, well, he's he, a lunatic. Yeah, and also Simon Phillips, who's been on so many really very, very good yeah. albums. I mean, they're basically session musicians. Do you find it difficult to persuade them to go on the road? Um, I, I'm sort of honoured that he's come on the road with me because mm. he's such in demand. Yes, I can imagine. And, uh, I mean, I was thinking it's very difficult in one sense, guitar hero of the late 60s. Um, what? What? Sorry, afraid so, <laughs> you have to live with it. Um, people like Eric Clapton, or people like, there are no other people really no. like you and Eric. He seems to have found his niche and almost mm. have gone back to the blues. You have tended more towards, towards jazz, is that right? Mm, it, Jazz is something that uh, you have to sort of define. You can't just mm. say, oh, that's jazz, just because some guy's playing a fast lick in a rock tune. And that's what it does happen. Pe people do misinterpret. Mm. So you don't like being... I was veering, I must admit, I was veering towards some sort of mm. jazz, but uh, it's really, it's just electric rock, you know, high-powered high, high, high powered rock and very explicit rock. Well... Uh, the, it could be misinterpreted as jazz rock, but I don't think what we're doing now is really jazz rock. No more categories, right? Yeah. Anyway, have a lovely British tour. A lot Thank of people you. will be very pleased to see you, and uh, I certainly I am. So. Thanks for coming yeah, on thanks. tonight, Jeff. Thank you.